This video covers off um, surface normals which um, are fundamental to subdivision modelling and understanding how a surface normal works and what it actually does is key to your, to your modelling success. So as we've done in these videos we'll just use a basic cube so right click and then cube and what we have there is a basic polygon cube and we have faces showing let me just use keyboard D to get face mode delete the top one and keyboard D select the bottom one so on this model we have um, the faces were actually having their surface normals facing outwards which means that the front of the polygon face is here and the back of the each of these faces is facing inwards. Now you can't tell that in the default mode because it's showing you a surface on the front and the surface on the back. So what we need to do is select the overall object with keyboard F. We'll go to display options and we can go to a, to a a number of different things here. So first of all we'll go to object display mode like so and then hit show normals. So what that's given us, every face now has a little line coming out of it which shows the side like so that has actually got the front of the face. So that polygon has got a front side and a back side. When you when these models are rendered, generally will only render the front side in a lot of packages. You can tell it to do both, double sided, but very often it will only render this side, depending on what settings you put. So as you can see, every single face has a surface normal. And if we want to now just go into editors and options and go to display settings we can turn on something called back face culling down here now when we switch back face culling on if you notice what that actually does is wherever we've got a surface normal pointing in a particular direction you can see the face quite clearly wherever we've got it pointing away from us you can see through it so as you'll see for this polygon here you can see it at the front of the face and you can see through it from the back of the face and that gives you an indication of where the surface normal is pointing you can't ever have um, two faces side by side with this face facing this way and this one facing the other way because it would give you an error you've got to have a continuous set of surface normals like so if I was to subdivide that and then use something called subdivide refine control mesh that's now subdivided it permanently and each face has now got the surface normal pointing the same way like so you can actually keep this on all the time so as you're modeling but what you'll find is it gets too complicated seeing this many if I was to just um, delete this entire model and show you another one and create another cube like so and we'll just turn on normals again well, we've got back face culling on still so if we just show you this one and we'll refine it three or four times and modify that uh, subdivide and refine the control mesh as you can see it's starting to look like some sort of um, see an enemy. So what we're doing there is we're actually showing a surface normal for every single polygon face within that mesh. And as you can see it doesn't take long before that would become unwieldy and go even further. And it goes absolutely crackers. So that is showing you a surface normal for every one of those polygons within that mesh. Uh, like so. So again that's not, not in any way useful to us. Um, it's just to show you that if I was to just turn off display object mode and then hide the normals you can see on that mesh there I could even zoom into it and you can see through it because we've got back face culling on 
um, is the fact that you know that the surface normals are pointing in a particular direction and is and how you use that is the important message to get across with this video. Okay.